Hey YouTube, Raven187 here. Been a while since I've done one of these videos, but thought this was pretty cool. Um, RPM filtering is now available on BL Heli S ESC, so you don't need a BL Heli 32, and you also don't need to pay for um, a licensed firmware to upgrade BL Heli S ESCs anymore to enjoy the RPM filtering on Betaflight 4.1. Um, Jazzmac over on the RC Groups forums had just dropped that he has upgraded and done a bit of work so we can now open source once again, no cost, get BL Heli S ESC firmware uh, that will do bi directional D shot as well as a few other good things that he's updated. So, yeah, let's take a look. I'll keep this as simple as possible. Um, I'll link the RC Groups for it thread. If I could say that word, where I found the info, it was just kind of randomly trawling. But he's gone through a few iterations already. So the one thing I will say is, look, this is still experimental. Um, but he has got some really good results and thinks that the the packet loss has actually improved greatly, as he said right there. Um, and yeah, just reminding you guys, look, it's all open source, beta flight. Uh, be or Halley, everything you're using is done by guys that don't get paid, it's for the love and the fact that someone who did the JESC firmware was charging people might be a nice guy but come on man uh, yeah, doesn't matter anymore, here's how you do it so links will be in the description of course but the link he gave me took me to here so of course github and you're going to be looking for the hex file 16.73 so you're going to give that a click. You are going to need to know what firmware your ESCs are on. So what I'm going to do, I've already got a quad plugged in. Haven't got the battery going. Props are off, of course, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the LiPo in. Because I like my VTXs, I just let them cook. Um, and quick tip, I've got a fan running on the VTX while I am plugging it into. So we're going to go ahead and open up BL Heli Configurator and connect. Um, this is just as per normal. Read your setup. You should know how to do this. If not, there's lots of stuff on YouTube. Um, and look, ESC1, ESC2, 3 and 4, of course, are all on AH30. Uh, I definitely said H like an Aussie there. But that's how it goes. Um, AH30, so you want to take note of that. We're going to disconnect. We're going to unplug the LiPo. We are going to go back to here and go AH30. You're going to click on that. And you're going to right click on RAW. Save link as. And put it somewhere where you're going to remember it. So I always just jam it straight on the desktop there. Um, so there we go, I've already got one that I have done for my Ghost, so that was a different firmware, that was CH40, so you want to take note that you are getting the right firmware and matching that up, H30. Um, I'm actually doing the source one now, it's with you guys, I haven't done that yet, so hopefully it goes well, um, but what we're going to do is go back to BL Heli Configurator, of course this is very easy once again going to plug in our LiPo, we're going to connect up and hit read setup. Once again very easy and I'm not sure you can probably do them all at once but this is how I did it. I went flash firmware, select file manually, it's going to take you to where you had it on the desktop wherever you put it, make sure it's the right one, open and it's going to automatically start flashing. You can even check up here at the log just to see that it has loaded the correct file. Um, I was getting an error before when I was using the wrong hex location I just downloaded. I right clicked on here and <laughs> did it that way, which was not good. Half the reason I'm putting this out, really. Um, and we're going to find BL Heli again. That one, of course, is done. Just going to go through and do it on all of them. Once again, you probably can do this on all at once, but it worked this way, so. I'm just going to have a little bit of water. 
because it's been 40 degrees in Australia lately and we're cooking in lava uh, we're gonna go to the third one and once again there we go it's automatic as you can see it doesn't take very long but you still want to be if you don't have low power disarm enable for your VTX and you're blasting out 800 milliwatt you want to be running a fan on it um, so we're going to go ahead and do the last one now it's of course very easy loading 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 once again thanks to Jazzmag this is all open source I haven't had to pay for this I was avoiding doing it because I didn't want to pay um, and I'm sure a lot of you are the same and that should be done we are going to read setup again just to make sure everything is good and what I did notice on the ghost I'm not sure if this is going to happen again is that uh, the ESC tones changed on startup so let's go ahead and disconnect there we go it's exactly the same on the source one you can hear that very fast initialization tone from the FC and it's actually it sounds like a higher pitch um, so if something's happened it must have worked and yeah you're done that's it there is of course the next step of upgrading to Betaflight 4.1 and enabling RPM filtering but I will leave that for another time and I haven't actually done that myself but yes it's free we can do it now thank you Jazzmac links in description if you're new to the channel or you haven't you know, seen me before maybe give me a subscribe bit of a like as you can hear a bit of a newbie uh, not very good at edi editing, so I usually just upload DVR, but there's OBS. Um, yeah, thanks YouTube, and enjoy the RPM filtering on Betaflight 4.1 for free. Thanks guys.